Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to install Cool Orange, which is an extension for Autodesk Inventor 2017 that allows you to turn threads into real threads. So, uh, to get the program initially, you're going to go to autodesk.com. I'll leave the link, into the, uh, the link in the description, and then you want to click download. The download will then either go to your downloads folder, which is either in your computer, and then you'd go to, uh, where is it? downloads which is just at the top and then they'll be in there or if you've set your downloads to your desktop it'll be to your desktop wherever you set your downloads to that's where it'll be um, so once you've got the installer you want to uh, left click on it twice and then click run but I've already installed it so once you've clicked run it'll go through the install process with you and then you'll have the extension installed into Autodesk. However, it won't show up if Autodesk is already running and you install it. So what you want to do first um, is either close Autodesk or after you've installed it, close Autodesk and then reopen it. And then you'll find the extension here in this top ribbon bar and it'll be called Cool Orange. You can then add that to your quick access bar by right clicking and um, add to quick access toolbar which is what I've already done up here. So to get this program to work and you want um, you're going to want to make a thread on a bolt per se, just like this one, and then click apply. And then once you've done that, you can th see it has a thread on it, which you think is, right, yeah, that's threaded. But if you wanted to 3D print that, it wouldn't come up. It wouldn't show up at all. Um, so what you want to then do is click on cool orange by clicking here and then here. Or if you've got any quick uh, access toolbar here. And then you want to click the thread that you want to turn into a real one and then click OK and then it will turn into a, a real thread it just saves you time having to go through the revolution and then doing the coil which I've never really kind of understand how that kind of works but uh, it saves you a lot of time so I hope this um, helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you